beginning the conic section today looking at parabolas. But in general, the conic sections algebraically can be in the form ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared. Notice we have an x squared and a y squared plus dx plus ey plus f. So that's a general equation for the conic sections. But we're going to begin to describe the conics as a collection of points, define it more geometrically. Generally, when we've looked at parabolas before, they fit the function ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to zero. And so far this year, the parabolas that we've looked at have either opened up or they opened down and they were functions, but we're going to look in this section at parabolas that can open left or right, and those are not considered functions. So what I want us to do is come up with a new definition of a parabola, and it's going to be based on a geometric location of points. So our new definition of a parabola is that it is the set of all points And you might have seen this same definition in Algebra 2. It's the set of all points in a plane equidistant, in other words, the same distant, equidistant from a fixed line, which is called the directrix. the directrix, and a fixed point not on the line. And that is called the focus. The focus is always going to be located inside the parabola, while the directrix is going to be outside the parabola. You probably remember that the axis of symmetry goes through the vertex. The axis of symmetry which goes through the vertex is perpendicular to the directrix. Okay, I want us to look at a parabola and we are going to talk about uh, what each of these things means. Okay, so let's graph a parabola. I'll just do f of x equals x squared because that's one that's easy for us to graph. We know the vertex on this, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, is going to be at the point zero, zero. And that's not exactly x squared, but that's just a parabola. The axis of symmetry in this case is the y-axis. The vertex is zero, zero. And let's just identify where a focus and a directrix might be. If the focus is at this point inside the parabola, then the directrix is going to be the same distance from the vertex on the other side. So it's going to be at the line x equals negative 2. Or, I'm sorry, y equals negative 2. So in this case, the focus is the point 0, 2, and that does not really fit with the equation that I gave, so we'll just, we'll just forget the equation. The directrix is the line y equals negative 2, 
and the distance from the vertex to the focus is P, is designated by P. So the distance, let me do a different color, from here to here is P, and the distance from here to here is also P. So when we're talking about P, that is talking about the distance from the vertex to the focus or the distance from the vertex to the directrix. If we were talking about the distance from the directrix to the focus, that would be 2P. And that could be necessary depending on information that you're given later. So we've looked at a general uh, equation for a quadratic, but I want us to get, look at the standard of equation of a parabola. And we'll look first with the vertex at the origin. We're going to look first with the vertex at the origin. In other words, that's going to be the point 0, 0. So if the vertex is at the origin, and let's say that the directrix is y equals negative p. The equation for the parabola is x squared equals 4py. This is going to be open up vertically. It either is going to open up if p is positive, and it's going to open down if P is negative. If we have the vertex at the origin again, let's say the vertex is at 0, 0, and the directrix is X equals negative P. then our equation is the standard form. This is the standard form of the equation, with the vertex at the origin. Now if, let me move this out of the way, if the vertex is at 0, 0, and the directrix is x equals negative p instead of y equals negative p, the standard form is going to be y squared equals 4px. Okay, if p is if p is greater than 0, then it's going to open to the right. If p is less than 0, it's going to open to the left. And the focus is going to be on the axis of symmetry in both of these situations. So let's look at a couple of examples using this standard form. All right, I have y equals negative 1 12th x squared. And I want to find the vertex. I want to find the focus, the directrix and then I'm going to uh, sketch the graph. Now this is not in standard form. If I put this in standard form, I'm going to have to multiply both sides by negative 12, and we get negative 12y equals x squared. So we can tell by this standard form that this is a parabola that's going to open down because the x is squared and not the y. The vertex is 0, 0. It's in, the, it's in that standard form that we looked at with the vertex is 0, 0. And I need to figure out what is, the, what is P. Standard form says x squared equals 4PY. So 4P in this case is equal to negative 12. 
so p equals negative 3. Now let's think we said that this is a parabola that opens downward. The vertex is at the origin. Because p is negative, we know it opens down, and it's going to be on the axis of symmetry. If p is negative 3, this is going to be our focus. So our focus in this case is going to be 0, negative 3. Our directrix is the same distance on the other side of the vertex. Rather than trying to learn a formula for the focus or the directrix, it's easier just to think about what the graph's going to look like once you know what P is. The directrix is going to be the line Y equals positive 3. And if we want to graph this, it's just a sketch. Um, it's going to be a pretty wide one, so we'll just sketch it like this. When you're asked to sketch it, I want to be sure and see where the vertex is, where the focus is, and where the directrix is. Okay, here we've got a little bit of a different problem. I want to find the equation of the parabola with the vertex at 0, 0, with the focus at 5, 0, and then we want to graph it. So I've got to figure out, if we want the equation in standard form, need to figure out which, which one is it going to look like. Is it going to look like this one or this one? So let's graph the information that we have. Okay, the vertex is at the point 0, 0. The focus is at the point 5, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's our focus. That tells us it's going to fit this pattern. And if there are five units between the vertex and the focus, that means that P is equal to 5. If I wanted to get an equation for the directrix, it's just five units to the other side of the vertex. So here's the graph of the directrix, and that's the equation x equals negative 5. If we were to get our equation, we know it's going to be in the form y squared equals 4 times p times, this should be an x, excuse me, times x. So we get y squared is equal to 20x. Now we could uh, do a t-chart to get a, an extremely accurate graph, but since these are just sketches, here's our vertex, and we can sketch this graph. It looks something like this. It's probably going to be a little bit wider than that, but that gives us an idea of what that graph looks like. When I'm looking at your graphs, I want to see the focus, I want to see the vertex, and I want to see the directrix. Now obviously not all of our parabolas are going to have the vertex at the origin. So let's look at the equation that we will look at if we have a vertex somewhere else, what that standard form of the equation is going to look like. All right, so the standard form of the equation of a parabola with the vertex hk and a vertical axis of symmetry, and I'm just going to say AOS, axis of symmetry. That means it's either going to open up or down. It's going to be x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. Notice that fits the same form that we saw before because the vertex was at 0, 0. So if the vertex is 0, 0, you get x squared equals 4py. Here the vertex is hk. The focus is h and then k plus p. 
and the directrix. is y equals k minus p. Now, for the focus and directrix, you can remember this formula, or you can just uh, sketch the graph and easily find the focus and the directrix. If we have the vertex, I'll do this one in a different color. If the vertex, again, is hk, And we have a horizontal axis of symmetry. Then our formula is y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. Again, our vertex is hk. The focus is going to be h plus p k and the directrix is x equals h minus p. Remember if p is greater than 0 it opens to the right. If p is less than 0 it opens to the left. So let's look at some examples of problems that you will be doing using this information. All right, we're going to look at the parabola x squared plus 6x plus 4y plus 5 equals 0. Okay? This is not standard form, but I could write this in standard form by completing the square in x. Notice because it's x squared, it's going to be a vertical axis, and I'm going to complete the square in x. I want to find the vertex, I want to find the focus, and I want to find the directrix, and then I want to sketch the graph. We're going to do this without using our calculators. So, the first thing we're going to do is complete the square in x. So I'm going to have x squared plus 6x, keep everything in x on the left side, and move everything else to the right. Negative 4y minus 5. And remember, <coughs> when we complete the square, we take half the middle term, which is 3, and I'm going to square that and add it to both sides. Half of 6 is 3. I square it and add that to both sides. So I'm going to add a 9. 3 squared is 9, so I add 9 to the right side. The reason I do it this way on the left side is now I can easily write this is a binomial squared. And on the left side we get negative 4y plus 4. To put this in standard form I'm going to factor out the negative 4 and we have y minus 1 and x plus 3 squared equals negative 4 y minus 1. Now, we know now that we have this in standard form, so I can easily find the vertex. Then I can find the focus, the directrix, and I can sketch the graph of this parabola. So the vertex is the point negative 3, 1. We know that this number is equal to 4p. So 4p equals negative 4. Therefore, p equals negative 1. And if I think about this graph,
The vertex is negative 3, 1. Let me change and do that in a different color. The vertex is negative 3, 1. Remember that P is the distance from the vertex to the focus. And since it's negative, that means that this is going to open down. So if we go down 1, our focus is at the point negative 3, 0. If we go 1 on the other side for our directrix, our directrix is going to be the line y equals 2. And we have, now I just need to, to sketch the graph. You could do a t-chart, but I'm not going to be looking extremely closely. Um, it's going to look something like this. So I'm expecting to see the vertex, the focus, the directrix, whether this opens up or down. Okay, here we have a parabola, but this is going to be a sideways parabola. So we're going to work this the same way we did the last one. We're going to complete the square, but this time we're going to complete the square in y. And just like last time, when we looked at that first equation, we really couldn't tell whether it was going to open up or down. We don't know yet on this one whether it will open left or right until we figure out what P is. So let's start again by keeping everything in Y on the left side and moving everything else to the right. So we'll have 8X plus 31. Now when we complete the square, we take half the middle term, half of 2 is 1, and we square it, and we add that to both sides. And now I can rewrite the left as y minus 1 squared, and we get 8x plus 32. Now this is not quite in standard form, because I have to factor out that 8. So if we factor out an 8, we get x plus 4. So this time we can tell that this one, 4p is equal to 8. So p is 2, and it's going to open to the right. Let's see if we can determine what our vertex is. Remember, this is k, and this is k. This is h, so our vertex is negative 4, 1. h goes with x and k goes with y. Let's kind of sketch this. Our vertex, um, let me go ahead and draw some more. So I can ch now I'll change colors. Our vertex is negative 4, 1. P is 2, so I've got to move 2 units to the right from the vertex, which is going to be the point negative 2, 1. So our focus is negative 2, 1. And our directrix is going to be two units to the left of the vertex. So if that's negative 4, it's going to be x equals negative 6. And if we sketch the graph here, going to look something like this. Notice our focus is the point negative 2, 1. Our vertex is negative 4, 1. So once we completed the square, it was very easy for us to determine what the vertex was, 
We could find what P is, and once we know where the vertex is, it's easy for us to determine where P is and where the directrix is. All right, your assignment. Okay, this is going to be assignment number 10. And I will tell you that when you have a test or a quiz on this, I'll let you use a formula sheet. Right, so you don't have to memorize all these formulas because we not only have parabolas, we'll have ellipses and we have hyperbolas. And while there's some similarities, there are also some dis differences. So I will let you use a formula sheet for these. Okay, your assignment number 10 is on page 726. I want you to do one through six. Now this is a matching and on one through six, I want you to tell me um, on number one, write down the equation. Write down, you can just do an up arrow or a down arrow or a left or a right to show me which way it opens and I want you to tell me what the vertex is. Right, so up or down, left or right and tell me what the vertex is on one through six and then match with the graph. And then I want you to do eight to 32 even. Okay, so on one through six, tell me whether it's up or down, left or right, and the vertex before you match it with the graph. Eight to 32 even. All right, thank you.